Hey everyone, <clears throat> today we're going to look at this. This is the Klim Chroma Wireless Keyboard. I'm going to be using this with my new Alienware M15 laptop. So you can pick this up on Amazon for a very low price of $29.97. It says it's 40% off of what it normally retails for, which is $49.97. So as we walk through and take a look at the box before we un open it, I'm going to tell you what my requirements were for buying this uh, wireless keyboard. So right now, the only negative I can think of with this keyboard is it's not, it's not Bluetooth. So I'm going to have to plug it into one of my USB ports on the uh, Alienware. So it'll take up some USB port space. So if, if you have a laptop with very limited uh, USB-A ports, then um, you might have to buy like a, a USB dock or something like that, a docking station. Um, so I wish it would have been also Bluetooth wireless instead of just the 2.4 you know, gigahertz wireless that needs that USB uh, port to plug it into to be wireless so here is uh, on the bottom is the the name of the keyboard and over here is in English is probably for like the specs so you can pause that and read it for yourself and then all the other languages like in French Italian uh, German and Spanish Right here on the bottom, you have klimtex.com, their website. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Um, made in China, all their um, ROHS compliances and stuff like that. Right here. So, and then right here on the front is, again, their uh, logo, their website, and the name of the keyboard, Chroma Wireless. So, this, I believe, is version 2. Uh, nothing on this side. And then on this side it says customer quality and service. Okay, so my requirements. Number one, it had to be cheap. Um, I didn't want to spend anything over, too much over $50. And hence this one, you know, $29.97. Got to cut that tape right there. Number two, it had to be slim profile. And the keys had to be quiet. I don't like a noisy keyboard. So I, th I believe this fit the requirements and um, it had to be from a company that was pretty good and reputable. And so this keyboard on Amazon has like 10,557 reviews and it got 4.4 out of 5 stars out of 10,000 reviews, 10,000 plus reviews. And like I said, uh, I've heard of Clem before because if you guys haven't seen my previous video, on my cooling pad for my laptop I was considering getting their cooling pad but I ended up getting the Rosewell because it was the same exact model just it doesn't have the five-year warranty so Clem um, if you look on their Amazon page they make a couple of different things they have like keyboards uh, cooling fans and mouses and other accessories they even have like a uh, ultraviolet uh, sunglasses or something like that to protect your protect your eyes from harmful you know blue rays so here's a keyboard that's what's what's in the box and it's a plastic keyboard but and uh it's very light so that's really nice because this is going to be on my lap for most of the times that i'm using it and um right here you get a user manual so that's pretty cool I'm going to have to go through this user manual, see uh, what kind of features it has. I know one of the features that this keyboard has is that it's uh, it's water resistant, so it's splash proof. So if you accidentally spill things, um, you're going to, it's you're good to go. It'll, it'll be good. And then you get those, some stickers. That's pretty cool. See? And then right here, it's got like some a name of some of their specialists or their customer representatives, customer care, Lily. Stephen, uh, Luis, Hugo, Maria, Samuel, Pizza Lover, Adrian, Julian, The Boss, Vincent, Hat Enthusiast, The Bod, I guess, Anime Fan. So, and right here it says, is a, like a, probably a thank you letter from Clem. So that's pretty cool. And it's in all the different languages, English, 
French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So yeah, there you go. And then the Clem, uh, Clem stickers right there. If you guys are into that. And then you also get the uh, charging cable right here, which is dun, da, da, dun, USB-C. So that's pretty cool. As everything should be nowadays, USB-C. This is a USB-A to USB-C. So I'm wondering if I plug this, would it also be wired? Would also would it also work as a wired keyboard? I'm going to have to find that out. Okay, before we power up the keyboard, let me take you to my desktop. So right over here, we are at my desk. And as you can see, it's very minimal. This is basically just a fold-away table. And I turned it into a desk. You can see my Alienware right there. All my vitamins and drugs. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so here is the my Logitech mouse. Bluetooth trackball mouse that I recently did a video on. And here is the wireless keyboard from one of my cases that I bought from my Galaxy S7. And see, I plan to put the new Klim wireless keyboard where this is right now where this wireless keyboard is. This, by the way, is Bluetooth. The only thing I don't like with this keyboard is it's really small. And it, it feels kind of cramped. Whereas the Alienware keyboard, not that there's anything wrong with the keyboard, but if you can see my setup, it's very small. So I'm usually sitting right in front of my TV slash monitor. So my chair would be right here, as you can see, but it's off. So the laptop is off center. I can't put my laptop or my chair near where my laptop is because I have all these wires and stuff down here, the plug, and also my lights are here, as you can see. So I have a very cramped space. And like I said, I haven't moved into a new house that I'm still trying to look for. As right now, right here in California, the market is still pretty expensive. So that's that. Okay, so this Clem wireless keyboard, like I said, it has the five-year warranty, and it seems like it'll fit in that little space that I just showed you, showed you guys. So I'm going to put it in that space after we power it up and see if, uh, if there's any power to this. Before we do that, uh, let's see. Let's do a little walkthrough. So here is the keyboard itself. Uh, and... Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's pretty quiet. Let me put, get my microphone. Put it right next to the keyboard. So right there, it's not a noisy keyboard. It's pretty quiet, but the keys seem pretty, pretty tactile and springy. Now I'm no expert typist. And like I said, I don't really type a lot. What I do use my keyboard for is just like for my titles and my videos and uh, doing web searches with the web browser and things like that. So yeah, I'm not really like typing up novels and making or playing a lot of games nowadays. So like I said, this keyboard is very light but and uh, doesn't really feel too solid because it's all plastic. But again, Clem offers a five year warranty on all of their products up to the top as you can see you just have your regular you know english qwerty style keyboard with the numbers up top right there all your functions here on the very top row right here on the far right is uh some leds for cap lock and probably secondary functions in your in your in your power led right there so that's the very top and uh, is there media keys? There's also media keys down here at the function for like stop, uh, skip backwards, play pause, uh, skip forward. Uh, looks like that's for volume up and down right here. Volume down, volume up. And F12 looks like probably keyboard brightness maybe. Okay, so it has all those secondary functions on the keyboard. And uh, right here on the bottom, those where the magic happens. So here on the uh, far left is the on and off switch. 
And then right here is your uh, wireless receiver, 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver. Uh, like I said, you have to plug into a USB port. And it stows away nicely in here. So when you're transporting, you can just put it in there. Is it magnetic? No, it's not magnetic, but it, I think it is. Yeah, it is magnetic, so it's not going to fall off, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to put that aside so we can plug it in later. So, you also have these uh, little legs right here on the bottom. So you can incline your keyboard a little bit for a more comfortable typing experience, I guess. So, yeah. And see if there's any power. Okay, so if you move the knob to the left it switches the keyboard on but I don't know if it is on so I don't know if there's any you know what god I'm stupid I should uh plug it plug this into the laptop first and then we'll find out if there's any power right so let me do that we're just going to plug this USB receiver right here onto the laptop like so and I just heard a chime so now we're going to go back to the keyboard. Okay, going back to the keyboard. Um, there's no lights. So it looks like it's there's no charge on the keyboard. I'm going to have to charge it up. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'll get back to you guys when uh, the keyboard gets charged up. Actually, since this uh, keyboard needs to get charged, let's see how long the cable is. So the cable looks like it's about probably two feet two foot long cord so I'm gonna plug the USB-C right here is it plugged in there you go I'm gonna plug this in and uh, charge it up okay we're gonna do the rest of the review here on my um, work desk where I do my editing and as you can see the keyboard uh, fits nicely underneath the TV as I expected because it is kind of low profile although I probably could have gone for a more lower profile than this and so when you don't use the keyboard for about a minute the keys turn off so right now I, I have it plugged into my laptop to to let it charge still so you see that blue light right there and if you hit one of the keys it turns the RGB back on and this is the brightest it gets right here that's at full brightness so to change the brightness level you would hit the function key and then page up or page down is the brightness not f12 like i thought so right now like i said it's at full brightness so if i go down if i hit page down you can see it starts to get less bright so I don't know how many presses that was. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think sixteen it I think it said it was seventeen. So let's see. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, now they're completely off. So, yeah, they're not too bright. So, that's a negative. I mean, compared to compared to that right there and the keyboard on my Alienware, it's not as bright. So, let me uh, turn it back up again. You guys could probably hear the keys clacking. So... I'm going to turn down the lights and that's that's pretty much how bright they get in a darker environment. You can see the lights from my keyboard and my laptop cooling pad and then here are the lights from the uh Klim. So they're not they don't get as bright, but the good thing with these is all the keys light up actually even the uh secondary function keys all light up whereas on the Alienware those secondary keys don't light up. 
the secondary keys right there on Alienware. Let's zoom in a little bit. Don't light up, but you could see them better than I could even with my than my Gigabyte, only because the Gigabyte uh, those secondary keys were up top. Them being on the bottom of the primary keys actually helps them be more visible in the dark. Where's this one? See, he just turned off again, so I have to. So yeah, they don't get too bright. Now, as far as responsiveness goes, um, they're okay. Like I'm gonna, I don't see. They seem pretty good. Just pressing M. Uh, here's the keys that I you would use a lot the W A S W A S D keys or something like that for when you're playing games they seem to be pretty good space is good yeah so responsiveness seems pretty good I'm not gonna I don't want to put you guys on onto the uh my screen because it, it's too blinding it's bright on my Samsung on that wordpad screen but take it from me it's pretty responsive at least for just regular typing I'm not sure how it is for gaming and um, I'm not gonna try it for gaming but I'll, at least not at this time but you guys could probably find other reviews on it online for gaming okay so I have my Sony camera pointed at the uh, TV slash computer monitor and um, I'm gonna go outside of my room and type on the Klim wireless keyboard. I'm just going to type random stuff. And I'm also going to bring my Galaxy S21 Ultra with me, typing stuff out on the keyboard. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm outside my room in the hallway. So there's my room right there. And uh, I'm going to type stuff. I'm gonna type my last no let's see let's type something uh, frog dog Put some numbers. Okay, that should be good. And yeah, let's go back. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, it didn't do too bad. All the letters that I typed got typed out, including when I used the space bar. And then type some real words like frog and dog. And then the numbers um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 2, 5 is in there. Uh, not bad at all. It came out pretty good. So connectivity is pretty good. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be outside of your room <laughs> when you're typing on, on the wireless keyboard. So all in all, that should be pretty good as far as like, connectivity. Okay, so... That's pretty much it for this unboxing and first impressions. This is not going to be a full review because I'm going to need to use it for at least a month to let you guys know how it actually works. And if I find any issues with it later on, I'll probably also want to test the uh, water resistance on this in another review. And so, yeah, with that, I um, just want to make some corrections. The LEDs, these right here, or no, the first one right here is for NumLock. The second one right here is for Caps Lock. And then the one right here is for Power and LED. All right. So right now, see NumLock is not on. Now it's on. And if I hit the Caps Lock right here, now Caps Lock is on. So that's what those are for. 
and as you can see when you, when I went outside my room and uh I was I turned off the lights in the hallway the key the keyboard was pretty bright so yeah other than that um here are the pluses that I like with this keyboard number one it's cheap like under thirty dollars you're getting a five-year warranty it's a pretty slim low profile the keys are quiet they're not noisy um, they got pretty good tactile springy feel to them and you, ha you have a really quick delivery so it's almost like you went to the store and got it yourself like I said I ordered this on a Wednesday morning and I got it that Wednesday afternoon I think I ordered it on a Wednesday morning around like six or seven o'clock in the morning and then by 2 30 p.m. it already got delivered to my front door right before I was heading back out to go train some more clients so it has a very quick delivery and did I mention the five-year warranty it has the five-year warranty and it has a uh, a lot of positive reviews on Amazon for like 4.4 out of 5 stars from over 10,000 reviews so those are the pluses the minuses um, my number one big complaint about this is that I wish it could have also been Bluetooth so I wouldn't have to use a uh, one of my USB ports for this keyboard uh, the RGB lights when the room is really bright if you're in a really bright room they don't get too bright but then Again, you would probably say, well, why do you need them to be so bright, right? Like, see right now? Why do you need them to be so bright when you can already see the keys? I, I, I still say they could be brighter. At least almost as bright as my Alienware keys right there. So they can match. Uh, number two, uh, the lights are not adjustable as far as, like, the RGB. You can't, you, you don't have different... RGB modes like say if you wanted one solid color like say I just wanted one solid like white or blue color it can't do that there's no like wave pattern so they're not per key adjustable RGB it's just different um, lights and zones so let me turn off my one recording light and show you guys so like this zone is like blue this zone is like red this zone is green uh, aqua green some more something like that it doesn't really you can't really adjust it um, and you can't really tell like how bright you have your light set so yeah the first con I wish it could have been like it could have had Bluetooth so that you can connect it to more than one device and you don't you're not using up um, a USB port with that wireless uh, receiver that it needs to get plugged into a USB port. Number two, the lighting could have been better. It could have been per key RGB and you could have had different lighting modes. And then number three, the build quality, I felt like it could have been built with something more than plastic. And it's really light, so that's good. But on the other hand, it feels too light that it doesn't give you a feeling of um, premium quality. But hey, it's got the five year warranty, right? And yeah. So that's pretty much the only cons that I can think of right now in this first impressions. Um, if you guys are interested and want to take a look at this keyboard, or please use the links in my description as it does help out my channel and my charity, The Wounded Warrior Project. So with that, thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.